Today I want to show you how Bruno survey would look like on a mobile device and demonstrate the possibilities of our mobile surveys. In order to get the mobile surveys to appear in your application, you will need to install our mobile SDK uh, to your application. And you will find the instructions on how to do that at uh, our developers help center at developers.surveyk.com. Once you install and uh, set it up in your application, uh, I mean, in a Surveykit application, you can manage and set up targeting for the surveys from uh, the Surveykit panel. So there will no need to, to edit the code. You just go to the Surveykit panel and uh, set up targeting and uh, customize your survey from the panel itself. And let's see now how Bruno can utilize the power of our mobile surveys. All right, and we are at our Surveykit panel. So let's say Bruno's, uh, Bruno wants to create a mobile survey that would appear uh, to users on a specific screen. So he created his customized survey. He added uh, the rating scale question, asking how is that date so far? And um, here you can see the example of how it will look like um, in your mobile application. So the preview. And we can uh, even change the uh, colors, design, add uh, our logo, if you would like, um, from this page. It depends on uh, what colors Bruno company has. And um, we can also define whether it should be full screen or dialogue. So when we select full screen from here, it will be on full screen and dialogue will be uh, placed at the bottom. So the most uh, interesting part for us is target tab, where we can define on what screen should the survey appear. And here um, we need to select only certain screens and type in the screen name exactly as you has it named in your application. So Bruno's screen is called settings and he wants to show the survey on this settings screen. Here uh, in triggers, we define when would you like to show the survey? It can be done instantly when a user lands on the screen, or we can add some uh, delay, let's say five seconds, or when a user triggers an event. We will talk about it in a few minutes. In our case, we would like to show the survey instantly, so we, would, we will leave it like that. And we, all, uh, we want all users to see uh, our survey, so uh, the user settings should be um, all users selected. And under frequency, we can define what to do if the user has responded or closed the survey. We can either never show the survey again or let him retake the survey after a week or a month or uh, in a quarter, let's say. All right, so in launch tab, we need to make sure that our survey is live and uh, is active. And let's see how it looks like in the application. All right, so let's say the user clicks on the settings screen and he gets to the settings screen and he receives the survey asking, how is that date so far? The user answers the question and it goes to the analyze tab. I will show you how it looks like in a moment. When we go to analyze tab, we can see the overall um, responses, how many views we have on this survey how many responses we collected so far and we can see the uh, overall information about every question we have in our survey so for rating scale you can see the score is calculated and uh, you can see score over time and if we go to individual responses tab on the left we will see the responses one by one in the middle you will see the answers for the questions and on the right, you will see other information like user attributes or uh, other survey responses this user um, has sent. When it comes to the second case, our Bruno wants to show the survey only after a specific event in his app has occurred. For example, he say, uh, let's say he has um, the feedback button in his mobile application and when the user clicks on this feedback button, the user gets um, the survey. And he wants to ask, how would you rate your overall experience so far? 
with the smiley scale question. So when we go to target tab, we want to show it on all screens, let's say, but only when a user triggers an event. So we need to select this option and put here the event name from our application. So the event uh, is called feedback button clicked. In case of Bruno's application, he puts it uh, in this field and we want to show it to all users and never show the survey again after the user has responded to the survey. Let's see how it works in the app. So let's say we have feedback button and we click on it and the user gets the smiley scale question asking how would you rate the experience. And the third case, he wants to show the survey only to users uh, who have some specific attribute. For example, uh, he wants to know how, um, how does it, do they have any thoughts on how to improve the application uh, if they have recently used the uh, latest update in the application. And Bruno is collecting this information about um, his users in his app, is storing them as attributes, and he can send the attributes names to us with our mobile SDK. You can see the instruction on how to pass the attribute uh, to us on developerscertificate.com. But let's see what do we need to edit in targeting. So here we want to show it on all screens instantly when a user lands on the screen, but we need to select the custom audience that should see this specific survey. And we want to add new filter and filter by attributes. Bruno has already did it, so uh, he put here the attribute name, which is called latest update active, and the value of the attribute, which is true. So only these users with this um, attribute name and this value should see the survey. So when we go to the um, to our application and we have this uh, latest update active as true, we can see the survey. And you might have noticed that um, the survey is greeting us with high max. Do you have any thoughts on how to improve? And this personalization part is um, the one uh, feature that I wanted to this um, to discuss with you to to show it to you. So when we go to the create tab, we click on the question to edit it. And if we add add sign, we can see that we can recall the attributes. For example, first name. I already added it at the beginning, as you can see after high. If you click on it, you can add a fallback. So in our case, it will be I there if um, in, in case uh, this user doesn't have first name attribute for some reason. And um, it will just replace there with the uh, user's first name when he uh, will see the survey. So as you can see, um, our user has first name Max and we are greeting his, him personally with his first name. And he answered the survey. When we go to the Analyze tab, we can see that this user is Max. His first name is Max. Uh, it, it, it is also visible on the right under user attributes. And we can also see the user attribute latest update active true, which means that we have successfully passed this attribute and uh, we can see it under Analyze tab. What's also interesting about the Analyze tab is that you can apply filters to better uh, see some specific responses you're interested in. For example, you're looking for some uh, responses from a specific date, let's say from 1st of June. So we just click on the custom date, select 1st of June, apply, and we can see that we have collected uh, two responses on this specific date. We can also apply some filters to uh, see, for example, only responses from the user with first name called Max. We apply and we can see that we have three responses uh, from the user with this first name. 
if we go to overall results uh, in this type of survey, so we have added text question. You can see that um, all the text responses look like this. And at the bottom, you will see word cloud, which represents the uh, most used uh, words that were um, put into the text, uh, text field uh, as the response. All right, uh, let's also see how the analyze step looks like for the event survey that we created with the smiley scale. So when we go to analyze, you can see that the score, the customer satisfaction score is calculated. You can see how many uh, percent of your audience is extremely unsatisfied or uh, happy, let's say. And you also can see the score over time at the bottom uh, for uh, this kind of question. We can apply filters even on this page, so no need to go to uh, individual responses tab. And we can see the overview for a specific day. Thank you very much. Uh, let us know if you have any questions uh, regarding uh, anything or uh, regarding what I have just um, shared with you, and we will discuss it on a QA session. Thank you.